Hi guys, it's Robert Iowais. And Jason Mudd from O'Brien Real Estate. Checking in again with another edition of the Bayside Property News for 2020, where real estate information is on the house. There is no doubt Aussies are feeling more chipped with the warm weather upon us. And with the recent announcement from Pfizer on their positive vaccine results, we are likely to see fuel added to both consumer and business confidence. Now with Melbourne's ring of steel down, people are now free to roam and expect regional real estate and there are some 30,000 Victorians reportedly considering a relocation. It's been one week we've seen, since we've seen the historic rate cut and already we're seeing the results of the stimulus. Auction results over the weekend hit a very solid 80% clearance with some notable results around Melbourne achieving 10% above both what agent and vendor expected. Which is something we haven't seen a lot of since uh, highs of the late 2017 year. Additionally to the Reserve Bank rate cut last week, the bank has also ran back responsible lending laws along with the announcement of $100 billion worth of quantitative easing. When liquidity is strong like it is, we see asset prices rise. Most industry experts that were predicting price falls during the COVID-19 period are now predicting actual price growth. The recent rise in the stock market hitting an eight month high is a perfect example of this growth and we expect property to follow this course. In the news this week, we saw housing construction activity hit a two and a half, two and a half year high. ANZ job advertisements rose by 9.4% in October to 129,544 available positions. The trade surplus rose by 3 billion in September. Australia has now posted 33 consecutive monthly trade surplus. New vehicle sales totaled 81,222 units in October, down by just 1.5% annual decreases in 30 months. And the JobKeeper Convent Supplement payment has been extended post 31st of December with total repayments of $715 a fortnight until the 31st of March. Across the O'Brien Real Estate Network this week, for the first week in November, we launched 65 new listings to the market, 82 properties going under offer with 76 confirmed sales with the highest price achieved being $1.3 million. Lastly, with retail shopping back, Aussies that have been unable to book overseas holidays may be keen to splash the cash on buying some loved ones gifts later this week with the Black Friday sales. That's all for the week. I'm Robert Iwais. And I'm Jason Ludford. And remember, the information provided is on a general nature. You should always seek independent legal, financial and taxation advice in relation to your unique circumstances.